Hello. Hello. Christopher, I feel refreshed. Do you feel refreshed now that we've had some time? A little bit of R&R &R in between yeah. the single most exciting event I've ever partaken in. It, it was necessary. I feel like there's a USB port in my spine yes. and I've just been like recharged. Yes, I do too. I'm yeah. happy to be here. This is very exciting to be on the video. We're in our haunted mansion, which it went so well. It went so well. Like it, was, it could not have been better. I know that we're like a biased party in this, but like <laughs> because it was I think, our event, <laughs> right? <laughs> but I it will did. say I don't think it, it went off completely without a hitch. Yeah, and there are other prolific, respectable doll people in the industry that paid us some really beautiful compliments that yeah. I am grateful for. So I'm I'm sort of taking notes about things that I would have changed for next time. For sure, and and well, with you know, the right. compliments and the successes and right. I'm very proud of it. Because, and one thing is, we've never done anything like this before. In, in my time as a doll shop owner, we've had open houses when my mom was doing that, but we've never done like anything like this, like a right. big luncheon event. Oh, it was full stop. I mean, full like, stop. And we had, had a party the night before. You have every element of like what, what we expect when we go to a doll yes. convention for a very petite group of people. Which made it very special. It was, I, I think so too. Like yeah. I, I wish that we could give the intimacy of that experience at the you know grand scale that you expect to everybody. Yeah. It was it was really fun. It was so fun. And we had like- We all left BFFs with everybody. <laughs> yeah. Truly. Uh, it was, I, I had a really sort of beautiful, cathartic, emotional response to its success. And yeah. looking back on it now, we had you know wait staff walking around with trays of uh, hors d'oeuvres and the we stuffed had, potatoes were so oh good and we had turnips with what was it creme fraiche or something mm -hmm. I don't know what that was but they were so they good. were it was good so anyway I know almost everybody watching was not here so I'm so so sorry you weren't I know that mm. you everyone had a lot of FOMO but it was so good and you were here in spirit yes and 400 of you about our Wednesday Ellowin. Thank you. Robert did such an amazing job with her. She's so good. So I have a yeah. confession and Christopher has a confession. Uh, we until well <laughs> we have, we have not until last night I had not I had watched oh. snippets it's the Wednesday series. Sure. I had watched snippets of it. I knew the outfits cuz I was doing my research, but I didn't watch the Wednesday <clears throat> series on, on Netflix in depth until last night. Yeah. And it is so good. It is so good. Yeah. So she, when Elowen Wednesday goes to the Nevermore school because she's kicked out of five different schools or ten different schools, I don't know, because she's she's what her daughter, her father refers to as a death trap. And in the very beginning, some uh, kids on the what what the swim team stick her brother in a locker, tie him up, and so she, to get back at them in the opening scene, she puts piranhas in the pool while they're having practice. And I thought this. I love this girl. This yeah. girl, she's right. good. Right. She won over the, the, the hearts of America for a reason. She did. And we are so proud to be like a teeny tiny little sliver of that. Yes. And to share in the excitement that you have so palpably had around this doll and the release. And we're here to tell you that the excitement continues. It continues. There is more. There is more. So, so when Gomez and Morticia and the family drop her off at Nevermore, she's allergic to anything that has color. So mm. that's why she has to have her special uniform. But all the other kids at Nevermore Academy have a different uniform. And let's just unveil it. So we just have happening. our, let's just bring her out. We have our Nima. Oh my God. Oh my God. So these are all counter samples. Yes. Robert we... saw these for the first time when he came to our shop in person. Well, and we never saw counter samples of any Wednesday. We no. just got the doll. We just got the so doll. So this is the approved <laughs> She's on her counter way. sample. This is a hypnotizing Nima. The blue eyes are 
So piercing. So Bianca in the series has yeah. these piercing blue eyes, which yeah. that's what makes this doll so fun mm -hmm. and the exact hairdo. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's similar to the, it's the same fiber as Life's a Beach, but the hair is cropped much shorter. Yeah, I and love so it. And it's, so it's a really flattering length and texture on her. It hasn't been really zhuzhed yet, but, and I love this shoe. I love that it has a different, like that little Mary Jane is so cute. Same it is so cute, nice and chunky. I really do love it. In the series, Wednesday, does wear those orthopedic shoes, which are the Gucci shoes that uh -huh. came on the long game Elowin. So you can put those on her if you dare. Because I, I was like watching this. it. I like I like the shoes too. They're, I like the shoes. I know too. that they're sometimes doll shoes can be cumbersome, but I say give them give them yeah. uh, a unlace some time them in your morning. And unlace them all. Do it. Give them your patience. But she's so good. Is the brooch no the brooch is the same. The and we actually saw some people that had that printed out the Nevermore crest and put it on the blazer if they really wanted to, mm. to make it authentic. But she's fantastic. I could look in the face of that doll all day. All day. Like one of the yeah. things that Get her I'm- Get real up close so you can see her face. Again, yeah. this is a counter sample, so this is not the produced doll, but she is leaving the factory soon. Robert is flying her in, so she mm. will be here first. Uh, this is coming next. Yes. I'm just so, I'm what so excited. Yeah. I, I think one of the things about being a doll collector that has made it so like fulfilling and like rewarding and joyful is not only like sharing the experience with people, but like the experience of having a collection that you really love yourself. Yeah. And this is a doll that like, I, I'm proud of my own collection now that like when I walk by it, like I can just like stop for a moment and enjoy them and then go about my day. And this is one that would pull me in that same way. She does, like I, I can't, not appreciate her as I walk by. There's no moment where I can like ignore her. Her eyes are so piercing. And I love this like really soft, I don't know how to describe it. It's like almost like a maroon cranberry, but it's really muted on the lip. It's just oh, this yeah. really pretty, like subtle, subtle lip color. It's not quite a nude for her complexion. It's just slightly, there's a slight sort of blush to it. It's, it's so beautiful. She almost looks like a new doll. She she honestly, is Nima, but honestly, she looks like she a looks like a, new doll. She looks like a different character. Yeah, different eye color and makeup on a doll oh. changes the entire doll, and she looks so good. <laughs> Listen, there's a reason why I was a makeup artist for ten years, right. and like that is one of the elements that I it's appreciate fun. most deeply about dolls is like the way that the faces are painted, and this one is so beyond. So beyond. So when the first Ella ones were packaged, some of the sleeves got pushed up a little bit, and then mm. this sleeve lightly grazed some of the wrists and the upper arms, which is why the Tonner factory was incredible that we could send replacement arms in the boxes. These were packaged perfectly, so yeah. there's not gonna be any staining, plus it's a darker color on the skin tone, but it's not gonna be an issue on these, so you're not getting the extra arms in these, but you won't need them. Yeah. Most people don't undress their dolls anyway, the dress dolls. Right, well, these ones in particular would display so nicely, yeah. it's like just as they are. They're, they're very deliberately made as an homage, right? So like, right. you can redress them because they're dolls. But why? <laughs> but, but right, this collection is very intentionally it's designed so to be its own, good. you know, thing. Oh my gosh. So our, our Any Wednesday Ella wins, that was a collection of 400 dolls. And as a company, the most we've ever put out was a collection of 200. No, we've done 300 Grace dolls before. Yeah. But never 400 of anything. And they sold out in 24 they hours. Sold out. Thank you yeah. guys so Thank much. Thank you so much. Thank you, Robert. And mm. of course, everyone loves Wednesday, so we know we had an in, but it was really fun. Yeah. It was really fun. Well, that's perfect for the season. I think like yeah. Tonner collectors it have out always Halloween. been Halloween fans, and Robert is such a so fan of fun. Halloween. So this felt like such an yeah. obvious thing. An obvious choice and right. time. And we love Halloween. This is my favorite time of year. Halloween and the start of the well, true holiday season. And it's just beginning to feel like it in Denver. Like yes, over the last the three weeks. days, it's finally gotten cold enough to like, I don't know. Feel to wear like cozy. Yeah, yeah. Wear sweaters again. Yeah. I wore a coat yesterday. It oh, was, was it everything you it dreamed of? It was kind of crazy. <laughs> like leaves were falling and I was cozy and I was like, oh, it's actually happening. Yeah. Like it took so long this year. So this is a great way to sort of, you know. Usher that in. When you're inside, you can still feel like you're participating in fall even if you're not outside. Right. Yeah. So you're gonna need both girls 
for sure. When they are available and when they come to our shop, you're gonna know, cause I'm, we're gonna do our news updates and, and all that. <laughs> but they, they're coming when they're coming. When, whenever they arrive and then we'll put them up for sale basically like right then, immediately after, a few days yeah. after. You'll so know as soon as we you'll do. You'll know, you'll know as soon as we do. I spoke to Robert this morning and just said, you know, congratulations again. Thank you for having the foresight for doing this because again, now that I've started watching the series, I am obsessed. I sound like an influencer, you know, how they, they're obsessed with everything, but sure. I, I am so obsessed. It was sure. so good. You say that like we're not doing this on YouTube. Yeah. I, <laughs> yeah. You know, like we're just doing this for ourselves. Right. Okay. So now who do we, Robert wanted when we showed him the next one, he did the Ella one. That's true. Okay. Are you ready? All right. Let's see. This one I think is my favorite. She's so good. Okay. I know everyone's itching to see her, but I just want to say, wasn't it fun at the event when we were pulling them out? Mm, that was And a everyone lot of was fun. ooing and awing. I literally and pulled them pictures. back from behind a curtain. Like Vanna White. I felt like Vanna White. It, it was, was so, so good. Fun. <laughs> yeah. It was so fun. And our wonderful friends that were there, we asked you not to post pictures until yes. we put out our reveal video, and none of you did. Yeah, Not thank you one for keeping did. a secret. Yeah. yeah, you're our secrets, secret buddies. All right, here she is. Yay! Okay, is one, why is she your fave? Look at that dress, you guys. Okay, so like, again, I love the makeup. I love the dress. I think the the thing that like really brings it to full full realization for me is the face. It, it always is. The makeup on this is so beautiful and it's severe in a way that isn't excessive. It feels yeah. It's so beautiful. Like the shadow You get your Halloween makeup. Yes. And I love that the lashes, the lashes we've been using for Tonner Dolls for quite some time now are beautiful. And sometimes they're like, they really accentuate the size of the eye and make them feel large and full. But the effect with this shadow with the lashes just deepens it. And it's so effective. It's so beautiful. She's rooted. She's got a great like back swept little moment. I love the face framing bangs and the tears in this dress are so gorgeous. The ruffle around the, the shoulder, I love the belt. I fully would wear this. Like it's it's so beautiful. You basically did on Friday night. <laughs> but yours had like a thing down the back. But mm, yeah. yeah, this is very you. Yeah, this is great. This is so much fun. And it's so size like the dress itself is so like fluffy and sizable. I love a, yeah. a large silhouette and there's like nothing underneath it. It's no. just lined. It's just a full volume dress. Beautifully done. Again, the same Mary Janes that Nima wears. She's hypnotizing. fabulous. And for those, there were a couple people that wanted, not a couple, I think just one said they wanted the makeup on any Wednesday to be like dark and gothy. Well, she was done after the Wednesday in the show. Right. And this is how she looks when she goes to the prom. So it's very authentic. It's very authentic. I love it. I do too. I think it's very good. I think she's she's so hypnotizing. I love that sort of actually it's like- brown eyes. Is that brown eyes? Mm -hmm. Yeah, brown eyes. Yeah. Brown eyes, a nice really rosy blush. Like she's just come in from the cold and she's got this beautiful wine lip on. Great little dark like fake stone earrings. They're, it's, it, she's just she's beautiful. Must. She really, like of the collection, I don't want to, I don't know, maybe it's too soon to you pick You can a choose favorite, a favorite. Like, I also, I love the one we're about to show you too, because that, that Nima is my favorite Nima. But as I watch the show, like if I had, if I had to choose, it would, it would be the original Wednesday. Yeah. If I had to. It's very evocative but of the character. I haven't gotten, yeah. But then I'd have to get Bianca too. Or I know. Nima. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, all right, so now here's the last one. Now, I wish Robert was here because this is this is the one, right? Uh, oh. Wow. <laughs> I mean, the face kills me. The hair is beyond. <laughs> and the sort the of- The shoes. Yeah, the, I love a like mermaid silhouette. I love her in silver, actually. I just, I just think she's gorgeous. <laughs> I know, she really is. I wanna show you the, look at the- Oh, those shoes. Look at that. I fully, if I had those, I would wear them every day. I would wear them to King Supers. I'd wear them to the gas station. <laughs> yeah. They'd be bedroom You would. I would wear them everywhere. They're fabulous. Like they have a different, a different glitter, like a smaller glitter on the heel. Yeah, the texture of glitter is, it's a great attention to detail. This, the sequins that sort of line the silhouette. Look at that. Is so, I just, what I really can't get over is the face. Cause the eyes I think are slightly, slightly more muted. Yeah, well maybe. No, they look the same maybe to me. Maybe they look, I don't know why they look different on the doll, but like she's got these beautiful blue the eyes. The hairstyle. And like a great little silver eyeshadow. The hair is, so incredible. Like I, this of the Nemas we've released is my favorite far and away. 
She is of every Nema. Of every Nema. She is. Oh, look at those rhinestone earrings. I know. Let's pull this back so you can see her. Look at how pretty this the the neck. Yeah. All the all the glitter. What what more could you want, really? It's lace. It's sparkle. Love her hair it's too. Sequins. It is so glamorous. And Robert was saying like he was. He enjoyed the dress that the character, Bianca, wore to the prom, but wanted to make his own spin on color and silhouette just slightly. And I, I think this is, first of all, quintessentially Tonner. I yes. think this dress feels, it feels so Tonner. It feels very 2000. And I love, yeah. or even the 90s. It's, it, she yeah. could wear this in any decade. Yeah. He's putting it out right now, but this feels very much well, like... Well, and you could do this in the 80s. Yeah. Frankly, you could do yeah. it in the 20s. Like, this is... Totally. It's very versatile as far as, like, if you want to play with Time Era. I have nothing... Like, I, she's... <laughs> I love this We have doll. nothing to say. She's so, she's so beautiful though. Yeah. I love her. I know. I think if you are like a really big Adams Family fan and collector, like this is a beautiful lineup of dolls to have. And if you just love Elowen and Tonner dolls, this one to me is like, again, she fits into a theme in the lineup, but she's just a beautiful Tonner doll. She can go into any color. Maybe this is your first Elowen body. Like I think she's breathtaking. Yeah, I do too. I do too. I think she's, and I love, and every single one of these dolls is Robert's spin because mm -hmm. that's, it's, it's his, it's, it's, what did he say? It was just, you know, themed after, modeled right. after. Just loosely inspired loosely by. Loosely inspired by, inspired by. So they're, they're not exact replicas. In fact, when I was watching the show, I was looking at the outfit and they, she, Wednesday wears a sweater, a sweater mm -hmm. vest underneath her blazer and stuff like that. So there's little, 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 little things. But again, just like Christopher said, if you're a Tonner collector, and you didn't even watch the show, they're phenomenal, but yeah. if you're watching the show, obsessed. Right. Which, I'm sorry that I'm late to the party, I should have done this <laughs> sooner, but I didn't honestly have the capacity as a very business, very busy business owner and a yeah. mom to a three year old to, right. to watch TV, but it's been so fun. You're never too late to partake no, in the No, 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 you're not. Yeah. You're not, so it's been, it's been a blast. So these two girls are going to be, they are going to come to our shop by Ocean, and they will be here probably in December, that's what we're thinking. Yeah. And Nima is due to arrive sometime this month. So I like that it's staggered. These two girls yeah. will be offered together, Nima will be offered sometime this month. Gives you an opportunity mm -hmm. to breathe before yeah. buying more. Yeah, it gives us an opportunity to breathe too. We're we're excited to we're going to be cleaning up our haunted mansion here in the coming weeks. I know. It but was so fun. So fun. Putting it together was such it a It seems so strange to take it down. I know. After such all the long nights, all the overtime. <laughs> I know. It was it was like not quite two full weeks of 10-hour days, but almost. Yeah. Oh, we all put in just crazy. Paul Paul was putting in 12 hours. Around the clock. Around the clock. Paul was here on weekends. He was here Monday through Saturday, 12 hours a day, to get out all of your packages. So thank you very much, Paul. Round of applause for Round Paul. Round of applause for Paul. He's the one filming right now. Thank but you, Paul. Thank you for filming too, Paul. And our editor, Omar, also worked around the clock. And yeah. everyone on the team worked around the clock. But Tamara also Casey. Tamara Casey. Tamara came and was just so eager and helpful to she's, be of any she's assistance. She's the kind of person you hire. <laughs> like She's just jumped in and was like, she knew could, how to do it better than me. Right. If she was like, you know, hey, Tamara, we need scaffolding built outside, she'd be into it. She'd, oh, we need burgers flipped? Tamara's there. Like, <laughs> she, she would do anything. She and really, she really did. Like, I everyone, was showing her. When we were doing the subscription boxes, I was I showed her how to stuff them, and I was doing them one by one. Mm -hmm. And she laid out ten and did ten at once, and I was like, <laughs> "Why didn't I think of that?" Sure. And so then I started to do fifteen at once. Oh my god! Yeah. Really? But Is that I don't know faster? why we were doing like I was just kind of we were we we usually do them one. I've at a time. always done one at a time. One at a time. <laughs> and she was just like, "Okay, thanks." Brrr. I was like, oh. Yeah, I looked over and there was a stack of She boxes. got them done so fast. Yeah. So anyway, that was fun. And of course, Samantha Diana, and Diana and Samantha. They were so sweet. Right I before think. the <laughs> event started, truly. I had so much that I had actually had to lay down and, and rest for a second because it was just so much. And, and you and the team were all in here getting it done. Thank goodness for everybody. Yeah. And for the team. It was just unbelievable. While, while it was happening, it almost didn't feel real. It was... It was planning a wedding. Like, that's what it felt like. Yeah. 
and again, like there's a primary team of three people. Right. Like, we, I think, like it's in very, the shop, we have three people. Yeah. And and Michael, who comes on Tuesdays. Yes. I have a new found appreciation for the scale of events like this and all of the work that goes into something like UFDC or, yeah, right. or doll shows. Like there are so many people that like all of those jobs are necessary to be, you know, worked and filled. And it was really lovely and, and fun actually to work so collaboratively doing, you know, 30 things at once with other people also juggling. But it's also, I, I needed the R&R of the last, you know, Oh my gosh, I did R &R too. R&R shipping out hundreds of dolls, but like in the meantime, there's, you know. Right, right. Because after it happened, actually the dolls went for sale, so mm -hmm. I didn't get any R&R until this week. Mm -hmm. So the, the the week after it happened, we were we, uh, we were there. Like yeah, and, and you were there too. You got one day, which was nice, but yeah. we're back. Yeah. We're, we're back. And so we are focusing on, in the coming months, our subscription service, because oh. we are now going to have three. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. The Grace stuff, you guys are not prepared. I know. The only thing that has anxiety for me about the Grace subscription is that we do have 300 spots. We had 225 people on our previous subscription. They are offered their seats first. And then if they all take them, then that's 75 openings. And I am going, yeah. we are going to go by who signed up on the list. Mm -hmm. So there's about 500 people on the list. Well, so, you know, we're trying our best, but here's yeah. the thing as a business owner, if I had ordered too much of this clothing, which is insanely expensive, I would, that would not be good. So 300 was a comfy place to start. I also didn't know, I knew the clothes were fabulous, but I also wasn't sure how yeah. the community was going to, because we've always right. put out modern fashion. We had so many conversations over the course of multiple months that were like, how will this be received? In what way can we change it? What is the temperature? What is the pulse? What is the absence in the community of doll collectors? Mm -hmm. What's the absence in the like realm of doll production? And I think that this is such a fun balance to strike that is, new modern contemporary fashion dolls wearing incredibly detailed antiquated fashions of a bygone era and really nothing else like this quite like this exists never no ne first of all we're the first to do a subscription that's true the second the closest i can honestly think of is robert and his fantastic right. Right. period pieces right. which have been over the years absolutely phenomenal the first one that comes to mind is the is the outlander dolls by robert yes with the big old dresses yeah that's the closest thing. That's the thing. closest. And to the, like, the, the detail. The detail. Specifically, is like. The detail is phenomenal. So in yeah. the Grace subscription for this, your outfit is the, is the thing because each one comes with a crinoline or it'll have a bonnet or it has <sighs> gloves or it has, all the outfits have multiple pieces. It's, it's beyond. So, but this is, <laughs> this show, this show is about these dolls, but we'll, we'll yeah. be talking a little bit more about it and getting in touch with you very soon about the waiting list and all that. But here's these dolls. We hope you love them. We love them. This is the lineup of counter samples. These will be coming over yep. the next several months. Thank you, Robert. I think these as December dolls will be such a knockout. I mean, like fingers this crossed. This is perfect for Christmas. I, I think so too. And silver's silver's perfect for Christmas. Like I was saying before, I think like we can celebrate Halloween as long as we want to. Absolutely. We can celebrate Halloween into you know Valentine's Day. It doesn't have to end when the the pumpkins die. You know, as long as it's cold, you can be. Festive. Absolutely. And also, Tonner loves loves dark dolls. Loves Halloween. Right. Elowin is a darker character. Oh so God. many of his characters are Chronic darker. Chronic ennui. Chronic yeah. ennui. She can in have... the show, she goes to therapy in the first yeah. session, like it's in the first episode. It's just so good. Yeah. Talk about chronic ennui. <laughs> I, I mean, it's yeah. a little bit darker than that. Right. But it's good. I am we hope you love it. thrilled about this collection. I can't yep. wait for you guys to have them and see them and love them and touch yes. them. And I think for me, of, of the Nemas, like this is, she's just hypnotizing. She's hypnotizing. So anyway. Our next video is our unboxing. Uh, we have set on the schedule that Elowen is going to Denmark. She's wearing Copenhagen Cool. Oh my God, it's so good. It's so good. It really, it's one of the most like, like stylish things. That's rude to say, but I think like, <laughs> <laughs> I think that's rude. I think it's, it's a very contemporary outfit for Elowen, but it's timeless at the same time. Yeah. And it's so chic, it's so stylish. Stylish. It's so European. I think it's very. It's yeah. something you would actually wear. Oh yeah. Around oh, in I, Denmark. I would love. The, I would love oh. to have the outfit. You're gonna love that. So that's coming up soon. If you'd like to join the Elowin subscription, we do have some openings. So we would love to have you on. We have nine more months of the Elowin subscription. The best has happened, but it's also yet to come. Every outfit's fabulous. Listen, you guys. Like. <laughs> yeah. I cannot say anything, but you will be getting a huge treat for December if you are not oh, already. December, yeah. 
If you're not already signed up for the subscription, yeah. Christmas is not something I would want to miss. Earlier, did I not today, earlier say, if I missed out on the December box, I would run into traffic. Yeah, that's what, that's, <laughs> that's literally what he said when he, when he put the accessory on the head. That's, I, a, that's um, an add-on. I like a flair for the dramatic, but like genuinely, I think, <laughs> I think that that would be Doll collectors devastating understand. to miss out on. So yeah. join the subscription. Join the subscription. Um, it's $50 a month. There, there's right. no better deal anywhere. Can you get truly. dinner for $50? You can. Like You can, but the, the this is something that lasts, and, and right. it's the whole experience. You get the video, you get the pamphlet, you get the paper doll, you, and you get, get to share the it community. With yeah, it's it's more than just the outfit in the box. There's it, you get a beautiful box. Like yeah. there's just so much that you receive yeah. for your fifty dollars a month. To me, it is just the best deal around. It's ex it, every month you get Christmas. Every yeah, month. Every month. It's very good for your mental health. Invest in yourself and your doll collecting through yeah. our subscriptions, truly, because it's just a blast. So if you would like to join, let us know and we'll send you the link. Yes. But this was super fun. It really was. Anyway, filming days are some of our most fun days. We really enjoy connecting with you yeah. and putting our, putting our wonderful dolls out there. So thank yeah. you very much. Thank you so much. All right. We'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye.